Hi, welcome to Brokowski's Blake Fort. You may notice today we're not in the fort. We're in my office. And got a little notebook action here. Golden polka dots on orange. Good uh, combo. Got the player's handbook for Dungeons and Dragons. I'm uh, making a DD and d character today. And uh, I'm going to take you on that journey and then... Uh, we're just gonna see how everything, how everything goes from there. I am sweaty, I'm barely wearing any makeup, which is not preferred. And uh, we're just gonna roll out, we're gonna roll out some stats and then, <clears throat> excuse me, if push, you know, push comes to shove, we'll be, um, This is uh, a lunchbox of mine from my childhood, and uh, it's filled with good, good, good D and D stuff. Uh, so we got your your pencils and a dry erase marker. This is the fun stuff in here, uh, right in the thermals. Um, And those are my dice. And I grab four of these bad boys. So. I, I know I want to be a wizard. And I know I want to be mm, a halfling. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take... Mm, one of these pencils from here. Uh, it's got green. I call this a Joker pencil. I wish I, I wish I painted my nails before this. I'm sorry. Uh, this is kind of an impromptu dealio blue. Uh, this is also a different kind of Joker pencil. I think this is closer to like a Joker pencil than anything else and it's uh, a shade of purple and purple is my favorite color so let's move it on down so I'm just gonna start rolling these rolling these uh, Staderuskis is this probably the best place right here for these rolls maybe I'll uh, go ahead and zoom in or something um, I got this drawer, and it does that. Uh, okay, eight, fourteen. It's the first one. I might have to go pick out some necromancer dice. We'll see. I mean, Let's see, five, five, and a three. You should be frightening. I really got a concept. I really got a concept for this character, and I've like I've done so much, but just gotta roll out the stats, and that's just this is the the, the big the big the, 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 the biggest pain in the butt. <laughs> so that's a thirteen. <clears throat> okay. This is I'm rolling I'm rolling hot today. Uh let's see. So we got 15. These are some good solid rolls. So I'll be participating in clip 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 clip. Yep. Oh god. Alright. Alright, so that's a Sixteen, bravo, bravo. Uh, six and four and three. So another thirteen. And last, last stat here. 
I'm gonna oof a doof. Uh, well, I need a bad one, so this will probably end up being my strength. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, no, oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exactly excited about that. Just a straight, straight ten there. So now I'm gonna plug these stats in. Um, and then what I like to do is just kind of cross things off as I plug them in. Um, so strength. Um, necromancy. So I've never made a necromancer. I've DM'd a necromancer, but the, um, this will be my first time kind of actually playing um, and not being on the DM side in about hmm, five years, six years, six years. I think that's good for now. So now we're gonna get to the drawing part where I draw my dandy character. Now be a good boy. Get Papa's, get Papa's dead people. Mm. Um, but let's see how this turns out. Uh, I'm gonna do a cursory search for Chubbikins to kind of use as a base Chubbikins. Chipkins, um, Chipkins, Mr. Chipkins, Bubkins, oh, Chipkins is like a chubby little kitty on some kind of cartoon, Freakazoid, huh, did not know about this chubby, this chubby kitty from Freakazoid. I never got into Freakazoid, so that's why I didn't know. Uh, I'm going to start kind of round, round cheeks, round, round everything. Um, maybe those cheeks are maybe too big, too round. And it's good to have like a lot of stray marks on you know your paper. Start with a circle. You know, if you're gonna make a halfling, you gotta start with a circle. And then two kind of sub-circles. And he's a sad boy. His friend's dead. And the backstory is he just wants his friend back. Um I want him kind of fierce, but sad. Um, so maybe, you know, we'll get this eyebrow going up here that says, hey, don't, don't fuck with me. Don't, don't F, don't F with me. And, cause that's the, th that's the thing about halflings, hobbits, is, uh, they're sad, <laughs> they're round. And I'm gonna take this kind of edge in just a little bit. And I'm gonna kind of get, you know, so he's not that much of a Chubbikins. Um, And he is kind of sad and round. Just, you know, sometimes I feel sad, sad and round. Um, I'm gonna be daddy thick, you know. So he's got these, these thick jowls. He's a heavy set halfling. And. You know, he's got these eyes, 
His eyes are just too big for his ding dang, ding dang face. And it does kind of look like a sad, a sad baby. I do feel like my hand is vibrating because I, I did have some coffee recently and I don't really like coffee and drawing and uh, Shabikins. And now it just looks like he's got stung by a bee. Oh me, oh my, been stung by a bee. And I feel like maybe his face should be. Oh, there we go. Let's just bring it in. Just bring it in. Yeah. He's gaunt, but chubby. <laughs> and he, always, he always blames himself for his friend's death, even though, yeah, you know, it was an accident and he was miles away. And, you know, his friend didn't reach out to him that day. But now his friend, now his friend is gone. And probably, I probably could do something like Google halfling portions. Let's say. He's got big old lips. No, he doesn't. Um... Got little goofy round teethers. Little goofy round teethers. And I think so far. I mean, he, you know, his eyes, he looks dead in the eyes, but what are you gonna do? This get these teethers in here. Francis. You know, and maybe, you know, he does have that, that, that baby fat. That's my favorite character from Star Wars, baby fat. Um... Hand, the hand is cramping already. It's just never a good sign. Never a good sign. I hope, I hope you guys found. I hope y'all found. This, this is like you know, go in, go in with that hard line. And it kind of creates a mask. And, uh, and he's got like a little kind of a bad mustache. What do you think about the bad mustache? Um, I think I'm gonna turn the eyes just a, a wee bit, just a wee bit of the eye turn. Gonna get those eyes turned. I'm gonna get turned. Gonna get turned. My eyes. That doesn't make sense. Um. His, his nose, his nose is cute. A little button, a little button nose. And let's just kind of reshape those eyes just a little bit. 
to make them sadder. Yeah, he's, he's sad about his dead friend. And I think there's always some kind of aspect of myself, and I think in every kind of character anyone creates in this game. style just yet because I am going to cover this with with um, a helmet of sorts not really not much of a helmet but a, a decorative piece um, and he gonna run around. There's something I can look up for reference. It's rabbit skull. I could be doing, you know, something interesting like three quarters or something, but I'm not going to. Um, in my fiction of him, he is wearing a rat, like a dire rabbit skull. Quartz rabbit skull on Etsy. $32. You know, else you can buy an Etsy for $32? Two non quartz rabbit skulls. Just want to put that out there. Prehistoric rabbit. That's. That's more my demo here. And, you know, that's the thing about skulls. Is it's gonna come down here. So you have the little nostril bit that goes here. And you got the tooth bit that goes right here, down here. And, you know, obviously we're gonna make some sort of allowances for his, you know, kind of head shape. Um, and and all that. And so obviously there's the two parts of the rabbit skull and they go up here and we're gonna trace that line back I think here and curve it around and we're gonna bring You know, it's maybe make his little Chubkin's face just a little tighter, a little skinnier, just to kind of make everything fit. So everything in this big area is just gonna get erased. And here we are making the big, making the big circles for the rabbit eye. Yeah, somehow he kind of looks like a praying mantis. And there's this part of the rabbit skull. Rabbit skull is hard. Um, let's, let's look at it. Rabbit skull. 
great on. Mmm, that's mean looking. Okay. So they do have more of a like a pronounced kind of ridge that holds up the ears, it looks like, when you look at it from this angle. <clears throat> and then these kind of boner bone bits bonier bits there we go and it look like maybe the mouth was there this is heinous um and we're gonna get these we're gonna put in like some ears some bun bun ears. Um, and we're gonna fix these bun bun eyes as well. These sockets of darkness. Because he is a necromancer, and I feel like uh, if you're rolling up a necromancer, and I think maybe this is a little inspired by. Uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Slay Aspire lately. It's just kind of a good thing to kind of pick up and play on the Switch, and you can start start a run, and you know, get that going. And I'm not I'm not that good at it yet. I did have a really good go of it the other day. Um, I've only played like mm, five times or something, uh, and it, it, it fulfills my need to play Magic the Gathering. It's um, this, this seems like this hole should be bigger. It seems that's what she said. Or that's what he said. Up to you. Um, that's what they said. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of, like it looks maybe more like he has like a dire gerbil on on top of his cranium, and I think the one way to kind of fix that is give this little uh, it is a little kind of diny darko, isn't it? Having that weird kind of skull. Damn it, I hate that movie. I don't hate that movie. It's just that there's people that like that movie and they've ruined that movie for me. Um, Cause I, there was a point where I loved that movie and it was one of my favorite movies. Um, and that, that time was high school. And yeah, we're putting You know, nearly, nearly twenty years out of that situation. So, and there were a lot, a lot of people in my freshman dorm who were like, "Yo, Fight Club, Donnie Darko, to the greatest movies of all time." And it was definitely like one of those situations where people heard, "Hey, Fight Club." cool and then they missed they missed like the point of Fight Club and they missed the point of Donnie Darko and just became uh, cynical people um, so there we go it's looking more like I got a, a skull on the top of my head dire rabbit skull I should add like little stitches this to make it obvious that these these are fabric ears that he's wearing it's not like he just cut off some bunny ears like a sicko but like you know he's he's he stitched these together and filled them up with cotton tails but I'm Chang 
and he should have some sort of lip. Um. Ah! Shove it in my gob! You know. So I got that going on. And. He should have his little, like, necromantic robes. But. Maybe they're a pillowcase or something instead. That'd be funny to me. Excuse me. If they were like a like a pillowcase or something. You know, like uh, my son was running around in one of my wife's t-shirts the other night and it was cute. Um so something something cute. I just wanna make a cute and upsetting kind of character. And I'm cheating. I want to give him, you know, this this gift of the the rabbit skull, the dire rabbit skull, and they have like this kind of ridge, and then like a little some of that kind of action, and you know, it's more more something like this, and then that's where the cute fuzziness goes, and then it kind of. It's, it's a rabbit skull on his head. Done. And so I should proportion this out. Um, so that's why we got the computer right here. Not the draw on, record, screen record. Um, I'd like to be halfling. Proportions. Just tell me how many, how many heads high are we looking at here? Yeah, you know, maybe I could go a little Pop Funko on him and kind of give him a wee body, like a wee body. The art I noticed the artist in well that is not a half lane. Well this is this is half this is the picture of half lanes. Or they call them yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, that's right, it's a gnome. So let's give him this kind of like flowy <laughs> business. Let's just draw his little body under this first and then kind of go from there. But I want him to do a so there's a tiny little neck so easily snapped and then he's got the childlike limbs and he's got one arm that's significantly shorter than the other um, which may or may not be a problem so I'm thinking about okay. Four arms and then some kind of <laughs> body. There we go. And then some kind of leg. Something along those lines. <laughs> um, so a thigh and a knee and a leg and a thigh and a knee and a shin and a little big feet. Now let's not forget how big these feetsies are. Um, okay, so
This guy's cute, this cute little robe. And this guy's cute little raceless. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's got his staff. See, I'm not the best artist. Um, but I've always been fond of drawing and what should be on the top of this staff? Something, something dead, right? <laughs> but it should also be made out of bones, perhaps. Um, so now let's get this a little closer to his, to his body. There we go. This is where I get really into just drawing and kind of figuring things out. And I just kind of stop talking and maybe it becomes bad programming content. Or I get self-conscious and I start talking about how self-conscious I'm getting. Um, I should kind of just kind of droop over that big old foot of his. He got a big old stink foot. Um, and that goes. on top of his staff what goes on top of his staff that's the question um what goes on top of his staff it should be some kind of summoning crystal. Um, I gotta think about those feet too. This is a dire rabbit skull uh, hat <laughs> helm. Be another one. Uh, skulls are the easy thing to do here. Uh, you know, and maybe. Okay. 
his staff is made out of bones because you know necromancer and maybe it's just one big like human femur or something like a big like a big femur you know you know how bones have those testicles at the end um And like, oh, you know, probably go in, ink it a little bit. If you guys, if you guys are interested in inks at all, inks. I don't know. Let's see. I got my Pilot G2, which is one of my favorite kind of pens to ink with. Um, leave some nice heaviness. It's nice heavy. This is kind of light and. Uh, this is a Pilot Pre Precise V5. It's my favorite, my favorite pen in the world. Um, not this specific one, but you know, it's, it's my favorite. Um, it's a tapered bone, as we all know. He's got his tiny little hands that barely grip around. He's got these little baby hands, these little baby hands. Um, And that's like the nice thing about going in and like once you get some ink on there and just kind of finishing things up. And but now he just looks like he has bosoms. Hi, I'm a bosomy hobbit. Oh, you can feel a bit Turkish. Ooh, I'm a bosomy hobbit. You thought our feet were hairy. Wait till you check out their large bosoms. You know, and maybe he's shooting off like, uh, you know, casting something over here with, with this hand and his fingers are kind of spindly and fun. And uh, it's like, lightning essence of death or something wispy um essence of essence of death you know i'm gonna soften this out just make him make everything about this poor little guy just too soft too yeah he just wants his friend back that's all I mean, his bosoms would be up here. Now, if you want an idea of where the Hobbit bosoms are, they're up here. I mean, Halfling, sorry. Sorry, Halfling. Um, I still feel like something should go up here on top. But, like, the only thing I can think of is, like, Maybe like the biggest acorn he found, or something, something like that. Um, so let's go ahead. Acorns, real see, real easy. You got the little thing, and you got the other thing, and it's like I mean, what do rabbits eat too? You know, lettuce, grasses. Uh, Maybe I don't know. Is that too druid if I made his made his robe out of like grasses? I mean that's just too much detail or um <clears throat> and leave these little sonic feet down here. That's what I call call it when the the foot kinda sticks out like this. You know, it's got this little bloop and a little doop. And blah blah. Let's call it a Sonic foot because it's how Sonic's Sonic's feet look in the games. 
And the movie, that movie is gen genuinely entertaining, and I like it a lot. Um, yeah, let's let's get a, you know gonna get I'm gonna let you guys have the toes, have the feet. Let's make some feet. Um, so we're gonna do for feet this. Is where the heel goes. Heels are back here. He's got nice high arches. And he's got that big that big toe. And the little bit the little toes here. Um and he's got that toenail. Toenail. And fur, and then the same thing kind of going on over here. Got that big toe. Take this, Rob. Take that, Rob Left Field. Yeah, I'm, let's let's start. All right, Brokowski fans, we're starting beef with Rob Left Field. <laughs> Um, I genuinely, I mean, I don't believe that I'm a better artist than Rob Leffield, but uh, I honestly think he's the worst artist in the world, so I don't know where that puts me. Um, Brokowski goes hard at Rob Leffield. Mm -hmm. There's feet. So this might actually be a good place to good place to end the episode. Please like and subscribe. And uh, share it with your friends. Alright. Thank you. I love you everyone. And uh, I don't know how to end episodes. So I don't usually say like and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoy uh My necromantic hobbit. Have a good night. <laughs>